Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Geomologist Presents Day 2 of RPG Day 2024, August 2nd. Happy birthday, Amy. It's my wife, Amy's birthday today. And uh, I'm definitely sure her game's going to come up soon, the game that she likes a lot. But uh, not today. Today, the prompt is the game I've most recently played. And that would be a game I played on Wednesday. And that game would be Hyperborea. Uh, so it's Hyperborea, the third edition by Northwind Games, authored by Jeff Telanian, the incomparable Jeff Telanian. Great guy. I've met him a few times, shared a beer. When I share a beer with someone, they're like friends for life. That's just the way it is. So, um, so yeah, hopefully one of these days I'll get to share a beer with all of you. I know I've shared a beer with quite a few of you, whether virtually or in person. So Hyperborea is pretty awesome. So I'm, <laughs> I'm running something called Down and Out in Fort Thunder. The premise is it's kind of like a drop-in, drop-out, but I do have regular players. That's just been the nature of it. Um, and they're arrived, however you arrived at first level, you arrived at this place called Fort Thunder, which is a, way, a waypoint that the Amazons are trying to set up on this archipelago that's about halfway between where they're from and Cremarium. They're, they say it's for a trading post, but who knows? The Amazons can be enigmatic and they don't tell everyone everything. So there's a fort, Fort Thunder, it has a few temples, it has an adventurer's quarter, and then an Amazon quarter. There's also developed like a village just called Lagoon Village, where the ship the ships that come in um, into the little lagoon, or uh, it's not really a bay, it's a little lagoon, and it does have some, well, these are all, kind of triremes or biremes and not really deep water boats anyway. So um, um, they are out in the lagoon. They have secondary boats that come over. There's a little village, like I said, and then you kind of walk up the hill, up the beach to Fort Thunder. And then I have rumors. Um, I have locations. And then the, I think the players are like level three, maybe almost level four. In some cases, we played a few sessions and uh, this past session, they had to deal with a, a ghost slash spirit that was haunting this wreck that they wanted to salvage. And they had a big operation. They're going to get paid a lot of money. And the salvage, this actually happened to be, well, I decided it was a about a 16th, 16th century caravel from our Earth, or a parallel, a parallel Earth, really, because it has magic. And they've kind of found some great loot in it already, um, and which was kind of neat. And so from loot that they found, and I ran this at North Texas RPG Con, and then they've continued to explore the wreck, found some more stuff a few times, and now they're trying to pull out the rest of the salvage with the help of another boat that is, happens to be there, a boat that you might uh, recognize called the Bird Breaker, which is a boat that's introduced in Rats in the Walls and Other Tales. And it happens to be here uh, at Fort Thunder. And uh, yeah, so they they have some contacts that they've made. They want to salvage what's in this boat. Um, and they fought this uh, malevolent spirit or vengeful spirit and destroyed it. Um, the, the, it's been a really fun campaign. Uh, they kind of know that there are some caverns on this island where there is a, a fight for... They're, they're called Holy Caverns by a number of beings, including uh, beast men, uh, humans that are of some sort of Thracian, Chimerian, Chimerian descent, and lizard folk, um, some rep other reptilian creatures, maybe. Hopefully not serpent folk. Well, who knows? Maybe, maybe there are serpent folk and lizard folk. We do not know. There's also another camp on the other side of the island that the player characters haven't found or heard of, uh, of Ixians. Well, they're Amazons, and Ixians are mortal enemies uh, they've done some exploration along the southern coast of this island but there's so much yet to be explored and it's been really fun so it's hyperborea that's the most recent game i play i think i've kind of established that i run it every other wednesday and it is drop in drop out come in um, you have to come in at first level now, hopefully you won't fall too far behind but don't worry if you survive just like a like a henchman or a hireling um, you probably level up very quickly especially if these guys are third or fourth level already or the main 
the players who are playing a lot and really enjoy it. Uh, so we do. Looks like we have three a cadre of three main players. We have a fourth who's kind of uh, been in and out, but he's had some other things going on, like buying a house, which takes a lot. So, um, so hopefully he'll join us again soon because he had a really cool adventure when they uh, uh, where they did a fantastic defense of a uh, high high ground and fortified position against an overwhelming force 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 force. Uh, anyway. Uh, that's Hyperborea. It's been. It's a, it's a, I love the game. I, I really do. I love the, the, uh, and I would be remiss. I'm not going to say that what players, the names of the players you play, but I will say the main, uh, two or three players that play, are a, a warlock, um, a Viking warlock. Let's just say, an Atlantean, purloiner, and a, um, I think he's, I want to say he's. Eskimo, an Eskimo. Um, I think he's a leisure domainist, right? So we have a cleric thief and a um, fighter thief. No, cleric thief and a magician thief, right? And then a warlock is actually a hybrid too. It's a fighter magic user. They're all humans though. Uh, so, so yeah. So again, I really love the game. And again, it's the most recent game I played, uh, Hyperborea, the third edition, by Northwind Games, and authored by Jeff Chalanian. Thanks for listening. Good night and good rolling.